Hello New Stoics, this is Tim, and today we are going on episode 3 on how to be a Stoic. So the first two episodes was our first day and our first week. And so now we are approaching our first month. So as you're probably aware, we are going to do our meditations in the morning and I'm just going to go throughout our day. Just, just to highlight what we do as a Stoic. So we do our meditations, we practice mindfulness, we visualize negative and positive things that are going to happen to us today and try and accurately predict that. We conduct ourselves in a reasonable way. We practice our four virtues, which we know by heart, hopefully by then. And we do our nightly meditations at the end of, end of the day. So what is going to be different is we are going to start thinking about things that we need to improve upon ourselves. Now is the time for us to consider improvement. So what are things that really bother us? What are things that shouldn't bother us but still do? Or, do you have a sports team that lost the game? Do you have things that affect you emotionally but you have no control over? Are these things really that important? So these are all the things that we need to consider because we're taking the, we're taking the steps away from being a beginner and we're starting to actually get into improvement. So one aspect of improvement is not only understanding things that are in our control and things that are out of our control, but it's actually thinking about things that can make us better. What would make you feel better at the end of the day? Did you see somebody on the side of the road who needed a tire change? Were you able to help them, but you didn't? Did you see somebody who needed help, somebody who needed food, that you didn't provide any food? Did you justify your reason for that? These are all things that everybody needs to work on. But as a Stoic, we constantly need to raise the bar. We need to look at every day as a day of improving what we did prior. So my, in my case, I would like to be more active in helping people with basic car repair if that's possible. I'm able to change brakes, I'm able to change tires, I can uh, change people's oil, I can I could do all these kind of things that could help people immensely. And I don't offer these services because I justify several reasons why, uh, that I'm busy or I'm spending time with my family, but I really shouldn't. I should make time to help people with their repairs. And I also would like to help people get food because there's many people in my community that don't get enough to eat and it's a really simple thing that I could just provide them with food. It doesn't really hurt me that much to do so. It's not a very expensive thing and it's not something that I really have to justify one way or the other. I can't really say that with food somebody is going to commit crimes or if somebody who has food is uh, going to use the food as a way of uh, obtaining drugs or anything for, for homeless people, which people will justify many times. So those are two things that I really want to work on and I'm hopefully in the process of doing so by joining charities and hopefully uh, if I see somebody who needs food I, I provide it with them. What are things that you really want to improve on? And, and sometimes these are these are not even things that have to do with helping people. What is something that you want to do that you just don't do for no reason? Do you, are you trying to learn a language? Are you trying to read a book? Are you 
trying to learn a new idea, you're trying to get into mathematics or something, what reasons do you give for not doing these things? Do you have valid reasons? Do you have technical reasons? Or are you just justifying why you shouldn't do these things? And this is when we get into a very hard conclusion sometimes. Sometimes there are things that we cannot do and we aspire to these things and we shouldn't. Being a professional athlete and somebody in my age and condition is probably never going to happen. Being a world famous musician is very unlikely for many people. Being a Hollywood actor for for the majority of people is not going to happen. And sometimes we have to let these ambitions die and focus on more practical, virtuous things that we can do with ourselves. So hopefully as a month as a Stoic, we could all open our minds to new experiences, to improve ourselves and overall to be a better person. Thank you.